enough making weird noises. Actually, no, never is gonna stop making weird noises. It's a thing I do. I like to make weird noises. Sorry, not sorry at all. Anyway, it's your boss, Colin Skipper Wing Bird, coming to you live with another skip stream. But as you know how we do on the do, uh, we gotta do some social media promo. So I'm gonna leave you with some Tokyo Machine, and then uh, we're gonna get started in a little bit. Also, if you're part of the co-host crew, please feel free to drop into the Discord so we can hash out some hash. That came out wrong. Oh well. Zanshu writes, hello, Skippa. Hey, Zanshu, how you doing tonight? Hmm. <laughs> I'm up to making so noise. So-and-so, so good so-and-so or bad so-and-so? Let me know. Oh, that's normal. Uh, well, hopefully it gets better. Hopefully this is a good part of your night. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Or if it's your morning, I don't know. Where are you at? Skip stream, connecting, cool. Oof. It's funny, tonight I wasn't really sure what I was gonna work on because I was supposed to work on a comic because I was supposed to do an a speed paint illustration earlier today, but I ended up not doing that. Oh, hey, seems good. Awesome. Um, I was supposed to work on a speed paint illustration, but I wasn't sure what to draw. And then I realized I'd left a doodle on my, uh, on my, uh, on my Cinti companion in the computer mode. And I was like, well, play, please tell me I left it on Dropbox and I can just draw over that and then come back to it. And lo and behold, I did. So I have something to draw tonight, which is great because that would have sucked otherwise. All right. Affiliate streamers, because that is yours truly. So what are you up to tonight, Zanshu? Actually, I'm gonna messenger because I gotta go tell people now that I'm not on the Facebooks anymore. I didn't even announce. Did I announce that I was not on the Facebooks anymore? Because I'm not on Facebook anymore. That's a funny thing. All right, let's go start with Twitter because Twitter's always the easy one. Oh, uh, Zanshi writes, me? I'm keeping up with my insomnia. Oh, that sucks. Is there any way to work around it? Uh, Zanshi writes, nice. Yeah, that sucks about insomnia. I wish I, I wish there was something I could, I could say or I had advice about it, but I don't think I, I don't have it, and I don't want to disrespect you by suggesting, well, have you tried drinking some tea or some coffee or, um, a hypodermic needle? So, yeah, I'm sorry. But I hope that, that it's manageable. And doodle gaming. Save that. Copy that. Then, then writes, I do what I can to, to sleep. It'll become a good day of sleep. One day. Uh... I'm, I'm, I'm wishing you luck, dude. I am wishing you, oh, well, dude or dudette. I don't know if you're a dude or a dudette. Or something in between, or uh, neither. I don't know. I'm sorry for assuming. I try not to assume. Because you treat others how you, why you want to be treated. So. I would rather not people assume who, who or what I am. So, therefore, I will try not to assume who or what other people are. All right, skip promo, skip stream, promo break, promo break, finish files, and starting, yes, that's the one we want. Cool. Tweet that. 
sweet. For some reason, my mouse is being weird tonight, which is kind of frustrating. What I should really do is just switch screens to my, uh, make my uh, Cintiq my main screen, but it be what it be. Oof. While I was doing that, let's go to Z, 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 Z. Copy that. Paste that. Skip stream, streaming, skipper wing, Twitch, Twitch, creative, uh, stretch, stretch, screen, stretch, 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 delete later. Post that. Zan writes, thank you. No, the real thanks is on uh, is on you, Zan, because I appreciate you being here. Because, I mean, doing this for myself is is fun, but it's nowhere near as much um, uh, much fun as being doing here, being here with other people. Um, schedule. So, if without other people, streams are, aren't really anything. Like, even, like, uh, speed paints, where it's like, oh, I know, I'll, um, I'll put it on YouTube. It's like, I'm still putting it on YouTube for other people to watch. So, I appreciate you being here and indulging my selfishness. All right, what else? Uh, did I, I got to shoot the love, retweet the thing. I really need to make a raptor noises emote and just like switch that out for my current emote. Actually, I really need to redo all my emotes because they're not really that great. I mean, they, they, they're they recognizable, but they're not really that recognizable at a, diff, at a distance. So I need to redo them so that they uh, so that they fit. Tiffany Haddish says, somebody bit Beyonce's face the night they took a selfie. Oh, is that what that's about? Because that makes no sense to me. Wait, why would you bite Beyonce? That makes no sense, but whatever. All right. to bean writes greetings Zan writes I wouldn't know I'm getting too old for them youngins news yeah I know right it's weird all right let's put my face on screen so uh, let's kill the music actually let's not kill the music let's go to my face hey skipper Lings, it's your boss Colin skipper wing bird coming to you live with another skip stream I already know you already heard that if you're watching this on YouTube or if you were actually there right when I started streaming. But that's not the point. The point is, if you're coming into the stream, welcome. Uh, tonight, we are going to be working on a doodle that I did earlier. Um, I, I did this, I think, like last year. And uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I put it on my, on my, uh, on my Cintiq, forgot about it because I didn't really want to finish it. And so now I'm redoing it. I'm not redoing it, I just didn't have anything else to draw, so I decided just, I was just gonna redraw it anyway. So, we're gonna put on one song first, and then we're gonna do go into Storm Request. I just, just, actually, let me put copy this, copy link address, put it in my chat, my playlist, paste, add, 
Um, save the playlist again. So that way I have it for later. Yep, replace it. Go back and mangle this a little bit. And let's go. Oh, right. Uh, let me put on the alarm. Fox and alarms. All right, stopwatch, no, timer. Reset the 25 minute mark. Yes, reset. And, why is my mouse being dumb? Hit record. All right, so actually before I do this, I need to actually get some reference. So let's go down to Google real quick. We're going to put in Spider Gwen. So Spider Gwen is actually an alternate universe version of um, Gwen Stacy. And for those who don't know, Gwen Stacy is the girlfriend of Peter Parker. Not the redheaded one, the blonde one. And let's turn on this music just a little bit. Because this is too loud for me. There we go. Um, so, the thing about Spider Gwen... So, the idea is that, like, what's, what's, what's fascinating about um, Gwen Stacy is that, basically, up until this point, like, superheroes got the girl, and they kind of did this will-they-won't-they. They. Um, open image and new tab, yes. Open image in new tab. Open image in new tab. Sorry, I'll get back to my story in a hot minute, guys. I just want to make sure I get this right. Uh, so anyway, what I'm doing right now is I am actually looking up reference. You should always look up reference, even if you created the character. And by that, I mean that you should have reference your turnarounds and your um, your designs if you ever need them. You shouldn't, um, you shouldn't try and draw from your head if you don't have to. Been in new tab. Oh, this is perfect. This is a turnaround. Open in image in new tab. So yeah, I think that's it. And of course somebody had to be gross. Somebody just had to be gross. They couldn't not be gross. I'm not going to show it to you, but somebody just had to be gross. So, reference one, reference two, reference three, reference four, five, and six. And that should be enough reference. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on the top screen. Bloop. And put that there. Oh, come on. Uh, so it's being dumb. It's chat's being, not chat, but uh, Snipebot's being dumb. Or other, ch yeah, chatbot's being, not chatbot, OBS, Streamlabs OBS is being dumb, so I can't see the chat. Which is no bueno. So now that we have our reference, we can go in on top of our image, and it's, uh, I didn't save it as a separate file, or whatever. Okay, so... What we're going to do is we're going to go to layers. Oh, hey, it is a separate file. What the heck did I say? I said this is a TIFF file. Okay, so if you have no idea what I'm rambling about, that's fine. Neither do I. Um, the idea of a TIFF file is that um, a TIFF file is basically like a, pho an, a mix between a Photoshop file and a, a, uh, a, uh, um, a, a Photoshop file and a static image. And so the idea with a TIFF file is that they can store way more data than a... Uh, than a uh, than a, a JPEG, um, but the trade-off though is that they're not very portable. So I'm gonna redraw this because it's been it's been a, a minute since I had to draw this. So I'm gonna redraw on top of it in my current style, and it's not really much different from my previous style. But I do, but I do want to make sure that like I'm not copying any over mis any mistakes that I had from when I first drew this. Whimsy writes, "Hey, hey, Whimsy, welcome to the Skib Stream. How are you doing tonight?" 
So I'm trying to make sure that I don't copy any mistakes that I had from my the last version I, of this. Um, so I'm just redrawing it straight up. Inverse is this, is that? Okay, 50. There we go. So now my blues are showing up a lot more. My blues are showing up a lot stronger. And I think I'm gonna pull a McFarlane on this. So you see, like, my natural impulse is actually to change the drawing than from its original version. I might go back and revisit that original version, but I don't really feel like it tonight. And let's see, let's bring this down. Oops, let's rotate that back to normal. Whimsy writes, I'm doing all right. That's good. So let's rotate this a little bit more. boring so that's still that's kind of boring so let's we're gonna redraw that again so we're going to let's see boop. yeah there we go Okay, so I think I got the legs exactly how I want them. I'm probably still botching the arm, so I'm gonna have to redraw that too. So yeah, okay, so that reminds me, I forgot to tell you guys what my story was with Spider-Gwen. All right, so the idea of Spider-Gwen starts with this. So back in the 60s, um, Peter Parker, the amazing Spider-Man, had a girlfriend. And it was part of a shift from just being straight up superhero to sort of being a melodrama. Um, the idea being that like Peter had a ton of great girls to choose from. He always did. But this was one of the few times where it was explicit. It was like Gwen Stacy or Mary Jane Watson. Um, so the idea is, and of course also being the 60s, this was before everything kind of hit the fan in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, grim darkness. So the idea is that Peter's got a girlfriend who occasionally gets in trouble, occasionally gets close to figure out that he's Spider-Man, occasionally hates Spider-Man for, um, um, for accidentally getting her dad killed, and so on and so forth. Like you saw bits and pieces of that in Amazing Spider-Man, where, um, where um, they, they're both equally science nerdy, um, and Peter accidentally gets her dad killed. Um, so this is a status quo for a little bit. Like Gwen starts to figure out that, that Peter is Spider-Man. Um, he finds, he finds some way to throw her off her trail. And let's see. Yeah, let's do that. And boop. So kind of fumbling around here. This is what I get for not. Uh, not really fleshing this out properly. Uh, Moving rights, are you using the default uh, Photoshop brush? Yeah, I am. Mostly because it doesn't really behoove me to use any of the other ones. Like, I don't really need to. Uh, mostly because I'm going to be inking this in, photo in Flash anyway. So I don't really need to use anything super special. Also, I find that the, the, the traditional, the, the other brushes try to imitate um, real life a little too much. So I'm like, why is my brush shaving down? I'm like, I don't like that. Um, I don't really want it to be shaved down. 
Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna McFarlane this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I went quiet for a second. Sorry about that. Just had to think about some stuff. Um, mostly because this is a little bit more complicated than I'm used to doing. Um, but um, anyway, so Peter had this girlfriend, Gwen, and eventually, and so it was sort of decided that like uh, um, they weren't really sure what to do with her because P her and Peter were getting so close. That was kind of getting improbable that they were not making any progress in their relationship. Um, they were just like, oh, um, like they're going to get married at some point. And that wasn't really where Marvel wanted to take Spider-Man at the moment. Because there's this idea in, in, in fiction that like no idea is sacred and that like you really should pursue every idea to the thing. Um... You should really, you should really pursue every idea to the, uh, to its fullest extent. But sometimes there are a lot of ideas in fiction that for the, for the, where you want to go with the story, you really shouldn't explore that idea. So, and Spider-Man's one of those things. Like for Spider-Man, the idea of Peter Parker moving on with his life and actually, you know, making something of himself is anathemic to the idea of Spider-Man. Spider-Man is all about growth and he's supposed to be about, um, He's supposed to be, um, um, he's supposed to basically be a teenager forever. Like, that's the real reason behind all the reboots, is that, like, Peter Parker always has to be somebody's gateway into adulthood and comics. And he can't do that if he's a 30-something-year-old, um, with a, uh, with a, chi with a wife and child. Now, granted, what could happen is he could pass the mantle on to somebody else, but he's not going to do, they're not going to let him do that because, um, fans won't let him grow up. Oh, that's actually even better. That's actually a better, better pose than what I was gonna do. Aye. This is why you don't just, you don't just draw over your old stuff. You actually try and invent, revamp and renew it. Yeah, that's a lot stronger of a pose. So anyway, um, so Gwen and Peter in the 60s were getting really close, like uncomfortably close for Marvel's uh, thing. Because Marvel's like, oh no, not so much, oh no, they're gonna have, they're gonna do the nasty. They actually probably had done the nasty by that point because I don't know if Peter Parker's a virgin. But, oh no, they're going to get married. He's gonna pop the question at some point. So what Marvel decided to do is they killed Gwen. And this was shocking because never before had a hero failed to save the girl. Um, like, Superman was always, always saves Lois Lane. Like, that's, there's, she's never in danger. Also, Quirky uh, Cadet writes, hey yo, potatoes. Hey, Quirky, how you doing? How's everybody doing tonight? Also, song requests are on, so if that's a thing that you want to help to skip out with, please feel free. I think. Let me double check something. Command. Cool. There are commands. So yeah, feel free to 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 um to load up the song queue, guys. Cause I got some great music, but it, my my great music com mostly comes from listening to your guys' suggestions. So please feel free to to um to make some song requests. All right. So the idea with Spider Gwen. Okay. So. We're still on this really super long tangent, and I promise I'm going somewhere with this. So Marvel, um, so Marvel kills off Gwen Stacy, and comics is sort of irrevocably changed forever, because again, never before had a hero been allowed to fail so badly. Like, yeah, sometimes the bad guy got away. Sometimes somebody who wasn't important died as part of as part of a redemption arc. I.e., oh no, the bad guy who turned into a good guy who. Um, who redeemed himself, he, uh, he's dead. 
But the love interest, she's not dead. The quirky, quirky sidekick, not to be confused with quirky potato. Or quirky cadet. I'm sorry, quirky potato. I'm sorry, now I got that stuck in my face. But um, never before had a hero failed so drastically. But Spider-Man was allowed to fail because, you know, marriage is icky. And for a long time, that was what Gwen was known for. Being the one that got, the one that died. Not so much the one that got away, but the one who, who, who died. And her de her ghost would sort of hang over the, the franchise forever. Like, everybody would talk about how awesome Gwen was. Um, everybody would, um, would, uh, would tell Pete to move on with his life, and then he'd have to get, he'd have to sort of um, retroactively get Gwen's blessing to do so, and so on and so forth. So, most recently in the new Marvel lineup, they came up with a really cool what if. A series of, they, I think, I forget what happened. But there was a really big year for Gwen Stacy. I think this was to, to coincide. Um, <laughs> Quirky writes, I should use that as a, as a username. Quirky Potato? No, Quirky. You pick one and you stick with it for once. Stick with it. Stick it. Stick it. Stick with it. Mostly because, like, no. I, I forget your last one. But it was a while before I even remember knew that you're, you were Quirky Cadet. So, no, you stick with Quirky Cadet. Um... So the idea is that with, uh, with, so they have this, basically this year of Gwen, sort of similar to like the year of Luigi, but for Gwen, for Gwen Stacy. Um, and we might have to bring that arm down. Well, I guess that'll work. She's doing convention prep. And let's twist this arm. Because. Yeah, that's better. Um, But anyway, um, so they did this Year of Gwen. And so one of their year. Two of their, their year, year of Gwen ideas really picked up. What if Gwen Stacy were. um, What if Gwen Stacy were, um, was the one who got bit instead of Peter Parker, which makes no sense because Peter didn't meet her until college. And number two, what if Gwen Stacy were Deadpool? And both of those ideas got a lot further than anybody really expected them to. Marvel always likes to tout it as, nah, we knew this, we, were, we knew what we were doing the entire time, which is not true. Um, nobody really 100% knows what they're doing the entire time because Otherwise, there'd be no. Otherwise, they'd have a ton of copycats, or, um, or they kind of have a monopoly on people's basic rights. Either way, the point being, like Marvel didn't know what they were doing, but it, they took it and they ran with it. The idea of what if Gwen Stacy were Spider-Man, and what if Gwen Stacy were Deadpool? Oops, let's dis disengage that. Control T, rotate. Shift some more. Oh, Photoshop, don't die on me. And there we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this, this leg back in because this is too far out. And I need it, I kinda wanna keep it on screen. I don't wanna take things off screen if I don't have to. I really like how this is turning out so far. So anyway, so okay, so back to the story of Gwen, of Gwen Stacy or Spider Gwen and things. So one of these comics is an alternate universe comic where Gwen Stacy is Deadpool. Except not really, because she's neither Gwen Stacy nor Deadpool. She's a completely unrelated girl named Gwendolyn Poole who thinks that she's in a comic, uh, comic book. Um, or rather, she's basically any one of us if she became a comic book character. Um, which is great and all. Um, uh, or rather, which is great and all. Um, and that was actually a pretty good one. So if you guys ever get the chance, you really should check out the unbelievable Gwen, uh, Gwen Poole. Where basically, again, a regular teenage girl goes into the, the Marvel Universe 
and becomes a, a person. Not really a superhero, not really a vigilante, but a person. Um, or rather, a superhero or supervillain, because she bounces between the two of them. Anyway, that's a good read. The other one is the one that we're here for. Uh, Quirky um, requests a uh, Planet Pop Star 8 bit remix. Kirby Chris. Awesome! So, um. So, the one that we're here to talk about is Gwendolyn, uh, Gwendolyn Stacy of Earth I Do Not Give a Crap. Um, and her thing is that basically, in this alternate world, instead of, um, Peter Parker getting bit by the, uh, by the, by the radioactive spider, Gwendolyn Stacy gets bit by the radioactive spider, and she becomes Spider-Woman. However, because Marvel already has a Spider-Woman, they decide that, um, that, um, um, that Gwen's book will be called Spider Gwen, while um, in inside the book she's called um, Spider Woman. It's it's both as complicated and not as complicated as it sounds. Like obviously in the comic she can't call herself Spider Gwen because there's probably a short list of Gwen of Gwendolyn's in um, in comics in that in that universe, and people are going to know which Gwen she is. Um, but in uh, but obviously. In our, in, as our, as a comic audience, we already have a um, a Spider Woman whose name is Jessica Drew, and so we can't be calling her Spider Woman either. And Marvel's kind of fumbled around with this, like in her, um, like in the new upcoming series, um, Marvel Rising Stars, um, she's going to be referred to as Ghost Spider, which yay, I guess. I mean, that's sort of been a problem with Marvel so far in terms of naming characters who have. Who have the same moniker, um, like in theory, it's like, oh yeah, she's the spider, she's Spider Woman of this universe, and it's not a big deal. In alternate media, it becomes, well, how do we keep her from being confused with a bunch of other Spider people? So they're calling her Ghost Spider, and in here and uh, in her own book, Spider. Anyway, so yeah, I'm rambling, and I'm sorry, everybody, because, um, yeah, just a lot of thoughts on this. So yeah, so Spider Gwen, and I figured, yeah, why not? Hmm, head's too big. Head's always too big. There we go. All right, so so Spider Gwen's kind of interesting to me because like what the the comic does is basically it doesn't just stop with saying what if the spider beat um, bit Peter Parker I mean bit Gwen Stacy and then keep everything the same the way that most universes tend to do. Turns out that this has a lot of long lasting ramifications on the Marvel universe. So like, does anybody watch da uh, Daredevil, like the Netflix Daredevil? Um, Fry Guy writes heart heart Spider Gwen. Yeah, we're explaining Spider Gwen, uh, Fry Guy. And I should probably not make her boobs as stacked. There we go. Cause this is not a pinup character. This is a teenager who just happens to have spider powers. All right, uh, let's do some. background stuff you can tell that backgrounds are not my area of expertise I kind of cheat on them um so quirky writes I tried watching the daredevil series and I kind of dropped off me too fried guy writes I love season one still haven't watched season two I guess I dropped off too yeah, I think a lot of people did, and I have a I have a rant for that, but that's gonna have to come after this rant. So you y'all love Daredevil, and you know like how he fights Wilson Fisk, the Kingpin of Crime, and all that jazz, yada yada yada. Well, in Spider Gwen's universe, um, Matt Murdock, the Daredevil, is also the Kingpin of Crime. Like he's not a good person at all. Like imagine basically an evil lawyer. Actually, you don't have to imagine evil lawyer because that's what he is. He's an evil lawyer. 
and he's as smart as an evil lawyer would suggest. So that's her main uh, antagonist is um is a uh, um is a uh, this is a boring background composition. That's boring. Let's throw some curves in this. I'm still in season one of The Flash. Uh, kind of not talking about The Flash, but yeah. Oh, hey. So there's a, that's the clock that goes off. Uh, let's hit stop recording for a hot minute. Also, because I really don't want to have to... Not recording anymore. Hit record. What is this song? What is this awesomeness? Who requested this awesomeness? Quirky. What is this? Steal it. We are stealing this. This sounds amazing. Kaiser Rice, are you still taking those breaks, man? Not quite. Um. The reason why there's a, the timer went off is because I like to record in half hour spurts. So this is going to be tomorrow's uh, speed paint video. Um, however, if I record for three hours straight, After Effects decides that, you know, I don't like three hours. We're not, we're not going to do um, three hours of video. You can't import three hours of video. So, um, so the, the half hour timers are a way for me to sort of keep, um, keep my video recordings in manageable chunks. That's not how background um, buildings work. We're gonna figure out some of this stuff as I go along. Um, Quirky Ray, should I hide in Homestuck's uh, uh, shame? No, this sounds amazing. Yeah, no, I actually stole this from you on a, on a, on a thing. All right, I think this is enough for this this tip. So let's save this as a Photoshop file. Uh, see bird, skip draws, 52, Spider Gwen. Um, actually, I don't really need, well, yes, I do, because I'm otherwise I'm gonna forget what this is. Sketch, whip, 01. And we're gonna save this in the doodles folder. Whip. And we're not gonna save it as a TIFF, we're gonna save it as a Photoshop file. So, PDF, large PSB. There we go. Save that. Yep. And we're gonna shrink this down. So, image size. And instead of 300 DPI, we're gonna drag it down to 72. What? 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 That is weird. Let's change that limit. Uh, Streamlabs chatbot. Uh, song request, commands, timers, quotes, queue. Nope. Mod tools. Users, mini games, betting, poll, notification. Blah, blah. Notice commands. Uh, why is it being weird? There we go. Mini games. Oh wait, no, that's mini games. I'll have to I'll have to hit this up in a little bit, uh, quirky. So I'm really sorry about that. Uh, Fry, if you remember how where to go to change permissions on that, so it's not it, it's not limited. Please let me know. All right, so we're gonna save that really quickly. We're gonna open up Adobe Animate. 
Also, I'm gonna dip my jack drop my jacket because it's getting hot in here. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, Friday go goes to song requests. All right, song requests. Boo, song blacklist, import, load playlist, settings. I should probably click on that. All right, max requests. Let's change that. Um, let's put that at 10, woo, not 100. And viewer, okay, so viewers get five not 50 regulars get 10 subs get 15 um and mods get 20. all right that should fix everything i think all right quirky go for it also we're gonna save steal this one too All right, so now let's make a new action script 3.0 file. And we're gonna change this file. So go to advanced settings, go to inches 11 by 17. Oh uh, yeah, it says that's a search request. Um, so I think you have to put the, the actual link. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go file, import to library. Boom, 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 boom. Um, go to the Dropbox, Dropbox, current projects. Oh, wait, no, sketches. Um, doodles, work in progress. Uh, spider child. What the heck is spider child? Uh, boom, I will check that out later. Spider Gwen is what I'm looking for, though. And okay, import that. And let's see. Cherubim, the Lordling, has been added to the queue. Yep, there we go. All right, file, import. I want to know what this, what this, um, what this spider child is. Oh, I drew that earlier. Okay, so we can't use that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new symbol. New symbol. And we're going to call that sketch PSD. Save that. And inside it, we're going to place our Photoshop file. And the reason why we're placing our Photoshop file inside a symbol is so that way I can manipulate the colors on top of it. I don't really want to have to do it without, um, I don't really want to, to manipulate the Photoshop file manually. So let's see, show all. So we're going to make three layers. I'm going to make a background, mid-ground, and a foreground. So in the background, we're going to place Sketch PSD. Oof. Man, you drop drop jumping in dropping in all the home stuff, Quirky. Much appreciated. So anyway, so as I was saying with um Spider Gwen. So remember how I, was, I brought up De Daredevil and I was like, so you guys remember Daredevil, right? And how he's a a ninja who fights um all the uh, who fights against the hand and um the uh, the hand and um Wilkins, Wilson Fisk the kingpin. What if he was the kingpin of crime? And the leader of the hand. And that's Matt Murdock in the in the uh, Spider Gwen verse. And let's undo this real quick. Okay, there's something I want. No. No, that's just better the way it is. Okay. All right. And let's lock that layer. So we're going to make a new layer. We're going to call it Gwen. And also what I'm going to do before I do anything else. Is 
is I'm actually going to download all my reference and put it in in this file. So probably should have done this earlier, but uh, where is it? Where's my folder? I can just edit this out later on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna file, save image as. We're gonna call this new folder reference spider Gwen. And save that there. So let's bring this down so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Save image as, save that there, save image as, it's not a really good one because it's so tiny, which might be good. Save image as, boop, save image as, save, save image as, save, okay, and there's all my uh, reference videos. Well, I guess there's two more I can use. Open a new one. Open, uh, yeah, open. Oh, that's a costume that somebody made. All right. Open image in new tab. And this one just because it's cool. Image in new tab. Save image as. Blah. Save image as blah. All right, so let's show these in the folder. Grab all of them, drag them into animate. Boom. Also, let's tidy up that library. So let's call this, make a new folder in the library. We're gonna call it reference. Um, put that there too. Put these there too. Make a new folder, call it roughs. And put that all there. And then assets. That'll be our third file. All right, so what we're also gonna do is now we're gonna copy this. We're gonna copy this frame, drag it up into the Gwen folder. F8, and we're gonna convert it to a symbol. And you're like, but Skip, we already did that. Quirky writes, Skip, you have way too many tabs open. <laughs> uh, uh, you think that's a lot of tabs for me. That's funny. All right, so we're gonna make that spider Gwen. Now we're gonna go in on top of that. We're gonna call this rough. And we're gonna call this layer reference. So in our references, we're going to grab all of our reference and we're going to drag them all out onto the timeline. We're going to arrange them so that this sort of makes sense. But the idea being behind it having all this reference is that that way I don't have to try and figure out, remember her costume off the top of my head. I just have the reference of it. Okay, that needs to go on top. That needs to go on top of that. Um... You can go on top of that. I can go on top of here. Yeah, that's fine. And that's fine. And that's fine. Cool. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this as a guide and we're also gonna make rough a guide. So now let's go in and doodle. The problem is that now I'm thinking about it way too much and I'm having a center page dilemma all over again. If you get, came in from Cody's stream, you know what I was talking about. So let's set this up the way I want it. And admittedly, part of the reason I'm having trouble with this is because this is a character I'm not really familiar with and not usually my first picks for, for something to draw, which is actually the point of picking her to, to draw. Let's close properties and let's bring the library down a little bit more. 
So I can sort of have these images on the side if I want them. So first things first, let's draw in a figure. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm gonna probably finagle some of this inking later. But right now it's just this is just to get the figure in. Because I'm not really putting in as much effort effort as I probably should. Also, sorry if I go a little quiet, guys. I I'm this is a, like I said, not a character I'm familiar with, so gonna be finagling some doodles. Also, why does the Homestruck um, community have such great music? Also, now I know why the Homestruck community um, transferred so quickly over to the uh, to the uh, to the Undertale uh, community because music's pretty similar. That was unsettling. Quirky writes because it was made by Toby Fox. Oh, Toby Fox did music for um for for Homestuck. Oh, that figures. So I'm being a little bit more careful here than I normally would be because I'm just not familiar with this character. Also, Toby Fox needs to stop using that gosh darn uh, um, laugh because mm -hmm, give me way too many creeps. I should just zoom in closer and get get a better look at that, but don't be like it. Hmm. He really needs to stop using that gosh darn laugh. being said please feel free to um um please feel free to, to submit um your best nightmare because that's a good one too um quirky says the news the the song cucumber quest noise master theme has been added to the queue wait cucumber quest has music too Oh, of course, Toby Fox made music for Geekin Request. I wonder if he got her, um, Gigi, uh, Gigi, uh, Gigi, I don't know how to say it. I wonder if he got her help with, uh, Undertale. Also, what's it with Toby Fox and weird laughs? Man, he made all the best friends. Mm 
Okay, I'm obsessing way too much over this finger. But that's okay, because it's going to be an awesome finger. Yeah, on the other hand, I think I'm getting the hang of what I want to do with this with this illustration. Mm. So, does that mean the hussy helped out with Undertale? A quirky because that sounds like something like if if uh, I don't think that like you know, like you wouldn't do something like that like uh, you don't do music for somebody if you, di you didn't get something in return or somebody didn't offer something first so I wonder what uh so I wonder what a uh, hussy did for uh, um for uh, um for Toby Fox ooh your best nightmare I love that song also feel free to submit some Megalovania too while you're at it Thanks, Quirky. Some some pretty cool ideas for this, but why is I me finishing the drawing first? <laughs> Quirky Cadet song, Megalovania, all versions layered. Oh snap! That sounds extra in the best way possible. Thanks, Quirky. And let's make this. I think I have an idea what I'm gonna do with this. I know I keep saying that, but I really do have an idea of what I want to do with this. Uh, with this inking. And it's gonna rely on having multiple layers. So. And one thing I keep forgetting with spandex is that you're not gonna really be able to. To see, everything when it comes to somebody's bodily details. So yeah, I was right to make this an all-nighter thingy. Um, Toby Fox apparently started developing the game in Andrew Hussey's house. Oh, well, that'll do it. Which actually is a very important lesson about networking with your friends. Um, make good friends, make good rep, uh, create, get a, develop a good reputation for um for be not just being a great artist but also being somebody who is good who is easy to work with and that you would want to do favors for not because you will end up doing them favors but because um it'll feel good when you do Make me feel good. Mm -mm 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 
Uh, Homestuck has no right to be as good as it is. But it makes you feel good. Steal that. All right, so here's the moment that uh, that uh, 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 Kaiser's been dreading. I am actually going to go on a quick three-minute break, and I wasn't recording again. Gosh darn it to fudge. I'm going to have to download, the, download the, 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 the thing again. All right, well, let's go to the break screen, and let's set the break timer for a minute, because it shouldn't be that long. Ah, that's an hour. Uh, no, that's not that's a, that's the wrong timer. That's for a second. Let's put that for a minute There we go I might just open up OBS and have OBS do the recording cuz this is getting to be a giant pain in the butt. Oh god my spine Whew. Oh god my neck Then. Oh wow, it only took me 15 seconds to do, to do push-ups, 10 push-ups and 10 sit-ups. Oh, uh, no, that, that, never mind, that timer's just stupid and weird. Alright, so let's reset that to play that. And is it absolutely recording? It's absolutely recording. Good. So let's get back to work. And don't forget you guys, um, get lots of, um, don't forget to not overstress yourselves. Take a break if you need to, get some water if you need to, do all the things. Man, Gwen's got a butt in my drawing. Let's give that a little bit more line weight. push-ups. Also, thank you, Corky, for all the for all the um, the music suggestions. Much appreciated.
So sometimes it feels like Sony Fox wants to develop a Kirby game. About downloading the, the 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 stream afterwards is that it's not really as crazy intensive as I was thinking it would be. Quarky writes, I swear he uses the same mixes as well. He probably does. Um, I don't really begrudge him for that either. Um, one, they sound good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, two, he does a lot. Um, so, I don't really begrudge him. If, he, if music was the only thing he did, I'd be like, a dude, my dude. But he does so much other stuff too that I'm like, eh, it is what it is. Sort of like when you, how you can ca kind of get the feel, sense that I'm not really a video editor by how I edit my videos. Like, I'm, I'm just not. I'm an animator. I'm an illustrator. But video editing is not actually my forte. You can sort of tell by how basic some of my shots, how, how I choose to edit my videos are. So I'm not going to hold it against him. That that's just not a thing that he's good, that is very easy. Also, um, it breeds familiarity, too. Because it's one thing to always be changing, but um, it's a lot. There's something else to be said for being instantly recognizable, and repetition breeds that. So I like how everybody knows the do 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 from Mario. Uh, Mario, yeah, no, they yeah they do try and put make new mixes of that um, in each of their games, but it's just easier for for Nintendo to go like, oh yeah, you here do 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 do, and they're like, oh yeah, Mario. So I can sort of get that. And it's also easy to innovate on something if you're not always remixing it, remaking it from the from the from scratch every time. Like that's kind of why this is this is taking as long as it it, it, norm, it does. It is because I'm not familiar with Spider Gwen. Whereas if this was a Crimson Fly comic strip, you better believe I'd be onto the um um not the inks, but I'd probably be halfway through my second um, my second panel. Man, I love that laugh. I'm drawing in the wrong layer. That's good to know. Let's lock that layer. No. Because I've been drawing in the wrong layer for a while, which is a problem. See? Yep, that's a problem. Let's put that in that layer and lock the reference. wrinkles are gonna come from our pressure or pinch point which is this back here the hood so boop mm -hmm. 
And I always like to improvise the hood, mostly to give it to maintain the cloth feel. Cause yeah, cloth should be at the whim should be at the whims of gravity, but um, you really should try to make sure it feels a little bit unpredictable. Gotta admit, I don't understand the purpose of a hood on a costume like Gwen's, as cool as the hood is. And it is very much a cool hood, but I don't understand the purpose of it. And the reason. And the reason why I say that is because I'm very much a, a proponent of form follows function. I.e., if you're going to put something on a character, there should be a reason for why it's there. And it should serve some sort of purpose. But Gwen's hood, to me, doesn't because it can't. Because hoods are really not good for that. So let's turn that off for a quick minute. That's looking alright. So you're probably wondering, okay, but Skip, there's a ton of details that you left out. And there's a reason for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to call well actually we're going to lock that layer really quickly outline now we're going to call this layer blacks mm, how are we going to handle this though Oh, it's got lightning bolts in the back. Well, who designed this? Whoa, that's weird. That's not how the song ends, but whatever. It be what it be. So I'm probably going to flub this a little bit because this com costume is a little too complicated for my liking. So. Ah, this is creepy. Let's see. Oof. Okay, what did I forget? All right, that's what I forgot. Mm -hmm. Oh, forgot something else in two. And erase that. I want to give that a little bit of wrinkle. Ah, didn't want to do that. All right, and let's fill that in a little bit. Now, 
Man, we are on a hussy spree tonight. Or rather, fox spree tonight. I say hussy, but it's really Toby Fox. So thank you for playing DJ, Corky. There we go. Bloop. Oops, too wide, so let's close that a little bit. Again, sorry if I'm going a little quiet, guys. I don't normally get this quiet, but it is what it is. Fine, be that way, Flash. Yeah, that's not right. There we go. Costume is stupidly complicated for no reason. So yeah, I'm going to simplify Gwen's costume because I'm lazy. And I do not feel like drawing all those lightning bolts for reasons. So we're going to keep it like that. Alright, what did I forget? Okay, there we go. Oh, that's important too. So 
I'll knock out there. Right, but we're not done yet. First, let me check something. So we're going to grab all that, and we're going to change that color to a dark. Yeah, I'm liking that. So there's something, there's a few other changes I need to make though. But let's go up to our drawing. Oh, well, her arms do the Spider Man thing. Which means I seem to have dodged a stupid bullet. Oh, let's save this. Seabird. Skip draws. 51. Spider. Gwen. Inks. Whip. 01. And we're going to save it to the desktop. So the reason why we saved it right there is because I'm going to do something stupid. I'm not sure it's going to work. I kind of want to try just to make sure. There we go. Ah, no, don't do that. Before we go into doing anything else, there's something, few things I want to do first. So let's make outline, make a folder and call it outlines. And we're gonna make this folder and we're gonna call it shadows. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change that into a mask. And make that a mask. And make that a mask. Now the reason for doing that is we're gonna make a linear gradient. One of the colors we're gonna pick 
is this brown. And uh, let's not go for black. Nobody likes black. And on the far end of the spectrum, let's make that a little bit brighter. Too bright. There we go. So now what we're going to do is zoom out and let's make a re linear gradient. Change that. And lock that. Lock that. And turn off the mask for a hot minute. Or turn off the shadows for a bit. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, with the white lighting, but we do have a little bit of a gradient going on. So now let's make a new layer. I'm going to call that fills. I'm also call this fills too. Lock that. And in terms of colors, Man, this was my jam back in college. Mostly when I thought this manga was gonna was super great. Yeah, this was like the opening to a manga called, um, or rather an anime called uh, uh, Air Gear. I think Jet Set Radio, the game. I mean the, <laughs> I say Jet Set Radio, the game. I think Jet Set Radio, the, uh, the, uh, um, the manga. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. All right, so that's not recording anymore. Hit record. And start the clock again. Air, Quirky writes, Air Gear was and still is awesome. Uh... Personally, I think it lost steam once um the bad the the bad guy was revealed. Like I loved it up until that point when it started taking itself way too seriously, and then I was like, Aah. all right. So let's grab the mask layer, copy frames. Paste that frame in there. Lock everything. Make that visible again. Make that not a mask though. Lock everything that's not important. And fill in the colors. Good. Let's copy that. Paste that. Paste that. All right, so anything we can't paste in, let's fill in. We want to close these gaps because right now we're creating vectors that Flash does not like. We're creating a whole bunch of lines. So if you go in here and we look at, we grab this, you can see all these vector points. Let's close out these ones that we don't need to have open. make this as tidy as possible. Oop, fill that in, fill that in, fill that in, fill that in. Zoop, 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 zoom in. Oop. Save for auto recover, thank you. Zoom out, zoom in some more. Double, just basically double checking the kit uh, for our bases. 
Mostly because if I don't fill these in, Flash is going to get confused um, later on when I try and reopen this file. And then half of this will be gone. And I don't want that. And I don't think any of you want that. When I distribute these files on... No, I guess I might not distribute this on Patreon. Blech. Don't close. Don't close. Close. Okay, yeah, don't close small gaps. And now that makes this easy to fill in. And the cool thing is that the more of these I fill in, the fewer points I have, or extraneous points I have to clean up after myself later. And almost beats. All of this. Shout out the grounds. It's in a dream, but the dreams are where the nevers are found. Ride and let go. Unbound. Alright, so cool thing is that now that we have that, we can turn this into a gradient. Which I really shouldn't do too much of this. I like that neon. Let's see what that looks like with everything else. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> it actually fits the neon blue of the other image. But let's stretch that out just a little bit, though. So let's lock that, because there's one thing there's one thing I didn't draw in that I probably should have early in the stream. Ugh, and that's the webs. So let's come out of here for a hot minute. Actually, the web should really be part of her. Gabe's Cheshire writes, whoa, Spider Gwen. Hey, Gabe, welcome to the skip stream. How are you doing tonight? Yeah, it's a Spider Gwen. Um, I had a sketch that I did earlier that I didn't really want to, um, that I, I didn't know what I was going to draw tonight, so I decided to pull something out of the draw pile and just do that for the evening. So, Spider Gwen. Let's tone this down a little bit. And in hindsight, doing this on, on top of something else was not the best of ideas. And let's see, let's delete all of that. Boop. Because I want this to sort of... This is what I get for not doing this on... Uh, um, doing this in my roughs. Not that it really would have mattered too much. Because I do want my webs to be kind of random looking. Do, 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 do. And they make no sense whatsoever, but there's a soft spot in my heart for the uh, for the Todd McFarlane webs. Basically, like <coughs> they look like knotted ropes, which makes no sense. But I just love them. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, everybody's influenced by the knotted rope look. Ah, too close. Oof. 
Games writes, I'm incredibly tired. Also know because the Twitch app for PS4 just crashed. Also, bless you. Bless you. Hey, Quirky. Ooh. Yeah, sorry, everybody. Sniffles are not meant to be happening right now, but they are, and we will deal. It's funny how hard it is to, to, to draw at random when you're trying to do it, when you're doing with it, working with a pen that doesn't thrive on randomness. Oof. And let's have these actually go somewhere. Oh, that sucks, Gabe. Why is Twitch so weird? I don't know. They released a new update today. I was hoping it would be better. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I wasn't there for the update, but you would think, yeah? Oof. All right, so that's not going to be black. So let's make one more mask. that the mask and let's make the color a linear gradient again start with a light gray or blue that's fine too that works and Jesus, all the anime hits tonight. Oof. Sorry about the sniffles, everyone. Mm -mm. So yeah, so this was the, the Bleach opening After Dark by Asian Kung Fu Generation. Back when Bleach was all right, it wasn't good at this point. It was just all right and was coasting on being all right. Oh, that is cool. That is pretty cool. So now we need a background. So let's copy this frame, make a new layer, paste frames, and we're gonna convert that to a background to a, a thing again. So we're gonna go F8. Background. Mm. So warn, we're gonna warn you, these backgrounds are gonna be hella janky. Oops, this is too, th no, this is just right. Also, if you guys ever get the chance, you should check out the music video for this because this is the music video for this is pretty cool. 
It's basically this dude who wakes up one day and realizes that he's got wings, and he's just like, why do I have wings? And it makes his life incredibly difficult. But as he goes out through his day, he's kind of super depressed and stuff. Until, like, at one point, like, there's a dude who really needs to, who's about to fall off a scaffold. And he realizes what his wings are for, and he just flies up and saves the dude. It's a really cool song. It's also a song that I kind of want to do a, a Crimson Fly AMV to. Mm Hey, Gabe. So I'm going to fudge this background something fierce. Stupid dope mix. Let's do it. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I'm about to guess I'm fudging up the background. I could just use a curve tool to do this, but I don't feel like it. Mm-hmm. 
to as long as it doesn't make me wish I had we still had the line tool or the rather the spot tool in flash but they got rid of it and I'm sad I'm trying to randomize out the the skyline here There we go, that's actually a little bit better. This is what I get for not planning out my background. But I regret nothing. I'm gonna skip this one. I, I love the song, but I don't really feel like it right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna skip this one. I'm also gonna skip this one too, because I'm not feeling these ones. Jeez. This is an entire place of things I'm, I kinda wanna skip, but whatever. where I can kind of say screw it because backgrounds are not my friend. Stop picking to draw superheroes in background cities and places where I have to draw things I don't like to draw. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
Oh, happy noises. Games just subscribed. Thanks for the subscription. Oops, forgot I didn't renew this this earlier. Whoa, subscribe for four months in a row? Much appreciated, Gabe. Thank you. Oh man, I really gotta redo my uh my uh my thingies now. But yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I really gotta get a lot of stuff figured out then. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Now let's delete this line. And we're gonna delete this background. We're gonna actually redo this one from scratch because I'm not really feeling it. Gabe writes, no problem. Well, I'm glad to be on your subscription list, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, glad to support cool people, always. Much appreciated. Eight fifty seven. Time for a little mi oh, one minute break, really quickly, so, so I can stand up. But first and foremost, let's stop recording so that this doesn't. All right, so let's stand up. Oof. Take a quick break off. Uh, take, take a quick step off camera. Do some stretching. Stretch the hands. Woo. Ah, stretch the shoulders. Oh, stretch the spine, stretch the neck, and then get back to the work. All right, uh, let's hit record again. And play. And now let's get back to trying to figure out this. Uh, figure out this background. Okay, that's just too zoomed out. How did I do this the last few times I did something this dumb? First off, I can't be too so detached. That's part of the problem right there. Is I'm trying to do this from a detached perspective and that doesn't really work. Pun not intended. Jiggy Rice, yo! On a beyond on a bit, had to do a bit of food shopping with Hubby. Awesome! Well, you caught us in our, our last hour of, of uh, streaming, so now's a good time as any to get on. Oof. I think the initial idea is somewhere is working somewhere, but I don't really know where. Whew. 
As long as I can't rotate the tool this around to get a better view because otherwise Flash is going to be a derp. So we're going to have to guess, second guess some of this stuff. Hello. Yo. Hey, Jiggy. What's up? I'm figuring out backgrounds and failing miserably. Uh oh. <laughs> That's why I try not to draw them. I'm not even gonna lie about that. <laughs> well, I know, I know, it's so bad, so bad. It, it's not so much that as the more along the lines of because you refuse to draw them is why I'm drawing them. Because mm -hmm. then that'll make my stuff look a lot more. No offense, I'm like, like my stuff will look like oh she doesn't do backgrounds but he does. Ah, uh, uh, uh. oh, I do backgrounds. I just do simple backgrounds. What's up, Corky? <laughs> But no, I, I mean, I feel you. They, they, they're, they're not fun. But uh. No. Oh no. I yeah. find, so I, hubby, I, I was gonna say I'll have to start like getting used to that because hubby and I are outlining the we outlined the first issue already, and now he's writing the script for the first page, and I'm like, oh Jesus, it's real. Nice. Yeah, run that by me. Actually, I need to. What? I said run that by me later. Um, or don't. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I find that I turn into, I, I'm starting to turn into people's either editor or their, like, uh, well, mostly just their editor. <laughs> Lol. Well, I'll ask him if he wants to. I don't know what he's, because he's right. He, he's basically sole writer at this point, but it's my idea. <laughs> no, that's fair. I mean, that happens. <laughs> oh, I know. It's just because I know I'm going to be doing all the drawing and I'm like, I don't want to deal with this shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> stuff. I don't want to deal with this stuff. I feel that. So I think I'm starting to figure out this this background, even though it's a pain. I'm gonna take this layer and we're gonna copy this. So well, confirming yeah. and going live right now. I'm a little late. <laughs> I was like, I had to go food. I wait. I wanted to wait till Hubby got home until we went food shopping. So it's like, okay, we have time to do food shopping, pick up something to eat, and then I gotta go stream. But then we gotta get the stuff out the car, and we shop at Aldi's. So we had to run in the house, get the bags, and then <laughs> come back to the car and put the stuff. For those of you that don't know, Aldi's doesn't do shopping bags so you have to like buy bags in advance or like use reusable bags so yeah that makes sense though I, I don't it's know. based on the german version of food shopping which is really cool i don't know I, I'm, I'm also sort of learning to lean back on the idea of like sticking to the most strictest of schedules because otherwise i will burn out and be just like super hyper angry <laughs> yeah um or just super hyper stressed so yeah. my the thing that helps me detox from that mentality is basically as much as I love you guys, I am beholden to to Melly Bear and Gabe's Cheshire only because <laughs> they're subs. Like everybody else, I love you to pieces, but you're also watching this for free. Lol. Um, and I know I probably shouldn't say that, um, but it helps it's keep. It's one me of those. It's one of those. We know you think it. You don't have to say it out loud. 
Well, it also helps me keep me sane. It keeps me sane. To say, yeah, yeah, I can be late sometimes. Right. I mean, I have to... to, I'm just saying, just for me, I have to be on time and do it, or else I'm going to be like, yeah. It's like, no, 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 It's 9 o'clock is 9 (laughs) o'clock. Amen to that. Uh, And also, you just don't want to get in the habit of not streaming. Plus, sometimes it forces you to do things that you didn't really plan on doing. Like, I never actually planned on revisiting this Spider-Gwen piece. I never did. Like, I, I mean, I kind of wanted to, but it was one of those on the back burner things. And then today I'm like, wait, what am I going to stream? I'm like, uh, I don't want to stream comics because I need to have a video for tomorrow. But I don't right. want to, um, but I, like, I don't want to do something from scratch that's going to be complete balls. Right. So. No, I mean, well, that's also why I used to be, I was trying to do it at eight. But I'm like, I get home at six because I work an hour away with mm-hmm. traffic. So it's like, no. I need a little more time than two hours to straighten house, get something to eat, get out of work clothes because I have to work in office clothing, which I hate. And <laughs> it's like, no. So it's like nine o'clock. We'll do nine o'clock. I can, I can do nine. <laughs> so yeah, I feel that. So yeah. it's, it's, that's the other thing is that you, when, when you get to a certain point, like, um, it's just something I was arguing about with a friend is the idea that like, you do want to be able to, like, the first half of your life should be about pushing yourself to your limits. Um, mm-hmm. After that, it should be a lot about learning how to pull back. Well, oh, trust me. When college college workout season was over, I pulled back a lot. I was like, no more of this. Well, see, that's something I'm still sort of learning how to do. Is, uh... Because, like, you, you, whenever anybody talks to me, and I, like, my idea of conversation is to list out everything I'm doing right now or about to do and like oh man that sounds like a lot skip I'm like yeah yeah the thing is that maybe out of those five things i get maybe two of them done mm-hmm. and that's not a great track record no, i mean i guess then it, you don't feel accom- like you do mm-hmm. do a lot but then you don't feel accomplished because you didn't do everything you wanted to do and it's like no no that's not true you accomplished a lot be proud of yourself mm-hmm so it's, it's learning how to appreciate, too. And also, it helps me de-stress from the idea of not getting done, um, not being where I want to be for, for all the things that I do. It's like, hey, um, it's okay to, to stumble every so once in a while because, um, because, you know, you're not being paid for it. Well, it's not even just that. Like, just because you're an adult does not mean you have to now be, it's like, no, we're... I think in my life, I literally started over in terms of life-wise, like, three or four times. <laughs> See, I've yet to hit that. I gotta admit, I, I I haven't hit that point yet. And I haven't been forced to. Also, Bit Weary writes, yo, hey, Bit, welcome to the skip stream. How are you doing tonight? Bit Weary, what's up? Hanging out with my, uh, hanging out with one of my bo- uh, stream bosses, um, Jiggy Art. She t- I should totally check uh, her out. I should totally make a, figure out how to make a command for this tomorrow. <laughs> well, right, we're using the fat pen today. We're gonna use the fat pen today. Well, because I'm on spring break, and so that means that I have time to do some things. Like, uh, I ended up. That's a, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I well, I wish it's it's one of those I have time to basically get back together. Get yeah. things back together rather than oh yeah, I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna go into Baltimore. I'm gonna chill out. You might want to take one day to actually do that. Like, seriously, you should take one day and actually do that. You'd be surprised how recharged you are or whatever. What, going into Baltimore? No, just relaxing. Like, don't do anything. (laughs) What the heck? Oh, did somebody request a song? I don't know. No, I'm trying to... Oh, this is a Cuphead thing. Cuphead? Yep. Um... Somebody did a bunch of remixes and stuff, and so, like, um, we were on Fry's stream, and we kind of overloaded Fry's, uh, um, uh, <laughs> music player, so it wouldn't Poor take any more. Oh, no, he was you cool with it. his player. Ha! Lol. Sorry. I know that was so bad. I'm, I'm glad we didn't use that on his stream. Are you serious? We, uh, yeah. Because it was such a thing, it was such a, it was such a surprise to be able to do it that we didn't use it. Right. So, um, oh wow, this is rotated. Uh-huh. Sorry, like, uh, I didn't notice that it was rotated. Um, but, uh, it was such a surprise that we didn't use it. But, um, 
yeah so I, I grabbed basically all the songs that I sub I song requested on Fry stream and just put it in my in my uh, in my list request thing nice like, well why 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 scrounge around for a crap ton of music so just my, my list has been starting to, to be kind of similar like like it's been through a few cycles so it kind of needs some need some more songs I find it's better right. to just add songs rather than rather than uh um rather than uh um um rather than delete and replay replace the playlist with some with some new music right so so yeah i introduced fry to this remixer called james land uh, named james landino quirky if you like hyper potions you you like uh james landino we're, that's who we're currently listening to um he did some collabs with uh hyper potions uh for mario odyssey well not some he did a collab But I uh, like it. It's, it's pretty cool. So, what are you up to, Jiggy? I can't actually see what you're up to because... uh. I know. We're both streaming, so that's fine. Um, I'm actually working on a Hatsune Miku commission. Nice. Slash small child who's adorable commission. <laughs> um, my husband is a custodian at elementary school, and there is a small child named Precious... And mm -hmm. she lives up to her name. She is very precious. She is so, like, you want to wrap her in chocolate. Like, she is sugary, sweet, and adorable. It's a, it's awesome. So, he showed her one of my pictures the other day, and she goes, Oh my god, does she know what Hatsune Miku is? I love Hatsune Miku. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, then, and then she goes, Um, can, can I ask for a commission? I have $5. I'll get it tomorrow. Oh no, the pun police have come out come after you. <laughs> I was like, oh god. I was like, no, I'll just draw one and if it comes out good enough, I'll just make a print of it. Oh no, 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 no. I'm talking about like uh the uh quirky cadet has has uh come after you because the pun police are out in force. That's probably the, the pun reason police. Yeah, quirky is is the in addition to her moderating duties, quirky is also the pun police. Um pun on the skip street. Um I forgot that I have that. That's why we didn't do it, because Quirky is the pun police. Dang, nabbit. Lol. Lol. You can't catch me, Kappa. So what's everybody up to tonight? I'm saying. Do, 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 do. That whole thing. We're just gonna... Uh, we're just gonna start over. Many other things I do. I feel that. Ah, wrong layer. Ow. That would have sucked. <laughs> oh, almost committed to sin. Well, luckily it's digital, so. I know. <laughs> That's like the only good thing. Uh, Bit writes, I'm doing good. I think. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Hey, I, I have those days too. Those questioning days. Let's make that linear gradient. Let's move that up top. Okay, I forgot this has this thing. And let's no. make that yellow. Let's make that dark brown. Because the end goal is eventually black. Uh, but we need this to be a little bit darker. Oops. Let's make that a little bit neon purple. Oh, that's good. And let's bring that down to be a burgundy red. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then last but not least, underneath that. Uh, let's make that, actually, yeah. Fill, bloop, doo, ba-dee, ba-dee, doo, ba-dee, doo, 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 do
All right, linear gradients. Maybe these are gonna be stop stop being so lazy with my gradients. But, uh, night's not that night. <laughs> Break that apart so I can actually, um, so I can actually mess with it. Bring that down. Orange. Yep. There. Where's my? Oh, there's my reference. Womp. And. Bring, make that a little bit darker. <laughs> Quirky writes, I'm gonna finish up some homework while watching Skip Slap Gradients on everything and watching Kung Fu Panda for like the second time in a row. I wanna be offended. I wanna be offended, I really do. But it's true. You can't be offended though. <laughs> That's the only thing. Lol. I mean, I'd like to say I. Uh, I mean, I can, I can paint, but I just don't want to. That's kind of cool, but that's a little too saturated. So let's tone that down a little bit with an overlay. That's too saturated too. <laughs> Whimsy writes, lol, <laughs> wit, neat, uh, didn't do a lot today. Neither did I. Well, no, that's not true. Well, actually, that's not true at all. Oh, I'm sorry. That didn't mean to, that's, yeah. I'm gonna You lie. Start. You lie like a bug. It's weird because like, that's not, like my day is not like that anymore. Where it's just like, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna not do something today. It's like, no, you're gonna do something. You're gonna tell yourself you're not gonna do something, and then I'm just like, because I don't know, working is relaxing to me in a way. Like that's not to demean anybody who does get enjoyment out of out of not out of actually relaxing, but like I'm not happy unless I'm working. Right. Oh, by the way, my boss gave me a game to play today. Which is oh, yesterday. Uh -huh. It's ten years old. It was for the Xbox 360. It's called for those of you that have ever played. It's called the Saboteur. And it's about 1940s occupied France. I heard that was pretty good. It was pretty good, but it's definitely dated because I'm playing and the controls are so clunky. <laughs> like climbing buildings and stuff is so like not intuitive. I'm like, I have to keep tapping the A button. I'm like, come on, Assassin's Creed, I just had to hold it. <laughs> well, I think it's, it's just sort of weird sort of, yes, you could make this as immersive as possible, but some quality of life things are, you don't really want to get rid of. Right. Like, uh, like in, uh, what's a good one? Um, like in Breath of the Wild is a good example of this. Like, you know how, like, when it rains? Okay, so in Breath of the Wild, there's a rain system. And right. raining makes it hard to climb things. Oh, like, they actually put in, like, a legit reason why you can't climb this shit right now. Stop right now. God, I gotta stop. Okay. But yeah. what they but. also do is, like, as soon as the rain is over, everything is climbable again. Instantly. Oh, okay. Because how annoying would it have to be for you to have to guess how long it takes for the rain to clear up and then dry everything right. off? Right. Oh, God, this thing's in the way. So, right. it's, again, some quality of life stuff is, like, you just kind of, like, I know you're trying to be immersive. Stop it. I know. <laughs> I mean, it's not even immersive. It's, like, the controls are just clunky. It's just showing its age. Which is fine, but other than that, I mean, the missions are really cool. I get to kill mm -hmm. Nazis. I mean, hey, that's always now. a plus. And um, I, the cool thing about the game, I remember hearing, reading about it, I never played it, I don't know why, um, was that every time you free a portion of France, because mm -hmm. the game is in grayscale, it's in black and white. Yeah. And then as you free portions of France, it turns into color. Oh, that's cool. Because you, you're inspiring the people to fight back against the Nazis. Like, the areas that are gray... When the Nazis pick on the people, they sit there and cower. But in the areas that are full of color, sometimes your resistance fighters will come in and help you. But for the most part, if a Nazi picks on a person in the colored portion, the person more than likely is going to punch them back. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So it, it was just interesting. I was like, huh. 
Alright, so one last thing and then we're gonna and then this is gonna be it done. Are you ending it early? Are you ending No no no, no I'm talking about this this drawing, although I probably am gonna end it in a little bit anyway because um I'm pretty much the the drawing's done and there's not much left to do. I hear that. That's all good. Oh, we're gonna skip this song because I grabbed the mute the the uh the music video and it's really super soft. So uh-huh. We're also gonna skip this too, because as much as I love the chill, I don't really feel like being chill. Ooh, heavy day. I love this song. <laughs> Just skipping so many songs tonight. So let's go with hey, the Mimi. Let's go with the Sorry, radio. <laughs> hey, tell Sir Chris I said hi. Skip says hi. <laughs> I heard that. That was pretty cool. I know we did. <laughs> uh, so now I'm just kind of that, I'm just kind of creeped out. Wait, do you have me on speaker? No, you're not on speaker. You're he just, just that loud through my headphones. He wants to see the next crimson fly. Uh, tomorrow morning at whenever ish. Tomorrow morning at whenever ish. Okay. <laughs> Fifty. Uh, let's make that. Um... Oh god! I just realized my sound is still on. Someone's not muted. They're not muted. Okay, Pasa. Your channel was not muted. That's no bueno. Was a cut into the last day either. I'm like, I just did the same old, same old. I worked. Like having the drawing thing like right up on me, but that means my keyboard's out of the way. And then in the foreground, last but not least, uh, just a little bit longer. <coughs> Whoa! What the heck was that? Did it, like copy my stuff? Oh, I had a sneezing fit, but, uh, yes, something happened. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, that's the controls I wanted. It It's copying the... What is this thing doing? Here, we'll delete that. How's that? Okay, I'm not high. Are you? What the hell? No, I'm just hitting the transform button on the layer I'm working on so I can make it slightly smaller to get mm -hmm. more of the body in. But then it's copying it automatically and doing shit. And I'm like, why are you copying the layer? No idea. Oh my god, we're starting over. No. <laughs> I don't know why it was doing that. I just wanted to transform the layer. But apparently I can't do that tonight. Oh, that's no bueno. Yeah, I was like hitting the transform button as I made it smaller. The original size of the version would show up behind it. And I'm like, what? I don't want a big ass Hatsune Miku, I just want an adorable Hatsune Miku. Can I just have like one adorable Hatsune Miku, please? God damn. I'll deny me shit all day today. Yeah, it went by fast at my job today, too. Like, I looked up, and it's like, oh, it's 2.30. I was like, what? I feel like I just got here. Hmm. It's like, never mind. See what that looks like. Uh, let's bring those down to 15. That's zero. That's eight. That's 25. Right, let's bring that down to 15. 15. There we go. 
I think I like it. You I think, think you thing. like it? Yeah. I'm pop over like two seconds. Well, I have you on on my thing. I can't see. Nice. I really like that the best of any of the ones you've done so far. Yeah, I'm turning this into a print then. Yeah, no, that should definitely be a print. I think it's because the Gwen is so like it looks like it's literally popping off the page. Yay! Even though, even though it's not, I know it's not. Me but I think because the background mm -hmm. is so great, saturated, and then your front. I know you like to take not saturate it so much. Like mm -hmm. the saturation difference is helping a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I love it. Yay! Definitely print that. I mean, oh, I'm, I might blow out the moon a little bit just to to um so that it shows up. Okay. But beyond that, yeah. Meanwhile, Quirky wants to know, Skip, how do you sneeze multiple times in a row without dying? <laughs> it's one of my many know. Time Lord powers. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Uh, okay, yeah, let's open the mask up. Uh, let's pick a color that's not going to bleed, I mean, burn people's eyes out. And we're just fill that in. Grab that, cut it out. And in the background, underneath all the things, paste that there. Ah, still not bright enough. Hmm. No, I'm not feeling that moon. You're not feeling that moon. Well, cause like it's, it's I put it I put it right behind. Uh, I put it right behind Gwen, but it's not reading as a moon. It's just reading like this, like she's got a halo around her head. Okay. Like I'd have to texture and I don't really feel like texturing it. <laughs> it's like, I don't feel like doing some of that advanced crap today. Mm, see, now I don't feel like doing it though. Dang it, Jiggy. Uh, sorry. Not All right, really. let's turn into a group. Turn that into a group. And then on top of that group, let's throw some, throw some dirt on it, put some respect on it. No, nobody. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Yeah, I was gonna do like a, I was gonna finish, I did the, um, what did I do last week? I did a humanoid version of my new of my Warframe with the new skin, uh -huh. and then I was gonna do color it in tonight because that would have been cool. Except I realized the amount of reds I would need to use, and I need to get refills for half of them right now. I was like, oh, we need to wait on that. <laughs> hashtag traditional problems. Hashtag guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you know, what? we'll do Hatsune Miku tonight because I don't have to worry about ink running out. <laughs> Gabe writes, I'm digging the use of blue here overall, though. I guess you can say this drawing really blew me away. Quirky, oh, sleeping at the desk. Oh. It's up to de it's up to Deputy Whimsy to... Wait, how come all my mods are pun police? Is that going to be the name of my of all my mods, is the pun police? Yes, it's going to be the pun police, because apparently you <laughs> cannot... You, you just cannot. All right. Well, to be fair, I didn't do it. This time it was Gabe. I know. Gabe, you in trouble, man. I need to make a command for the pun police. That would be funny. Uh, I blame Kaiser for this, because normally I would just let, let it slide, but... Uh, if you love it, let it slide. Nope. Uh, meanwhile, oh my gosh, Bit Weary's got a uh, got a, an emote for this. Missing uh Miss Co uh Miss G Cop. Miss G Cop, what? <laughs> oh no, game is going for game is going double or nothing. I'm in trouble. Oh What's my, my pun ish mint? Oh no, game is really pushing the pun police tonight. Yo, that's about to be like an A class felony right there. I mean, he was still under a misdemeanor, but. I feel like there's a pun there, but I just, I couldn't find it. Mm, it's okay. No, there was no pun there. No, there's always a pun everywhere. What the? Oh. Battery got loose. Lol. That's a problem. Ba 
bow, bow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, there, now this moon's not bothering me as much because now it looks like a moon. <laughs> or it looks like there's something in the sky anyway. Mysterious as the dark side of the moon. Let's not make her look derby. And there, let's make that look like it's not as. That is bright. Uh, no, I need to be able to see it. Hmm. I don't need it to be that saturated, though. What, the background? Uh, no, the moon itself. So let's turn that to 50 and see what that looks like. Oh, uh, that's a lot better. Cool, so, so it's, it's in the sky visibly, but it doesn't, like, blow up, make a, a big uh, thing of a... Uh... Jose... It could have made a halo around her. <laughs> ha, ha. Well, that's what it was before when it wasn't when it wasn't textured. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's pretty funny. Meanwhile, a, a bit where it's quirky. Should I ask my friend if he can give you another version of off? His is working. <laughs> so yeah, like I think this is it, guys. I mean, I still have to download. Hmm? Print, print. Yay. So let's hit stop recording. Um, I still have to. What sucks is I still have to download um, the 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 recording from uh, um, from Streamlabs because there's a half hour that's missing. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. On the plus side, what I hmm? I was gonna say I hate when that happens. Well, on the plus side, um, I have the the pro version of QuickTime, so it lets oh, nice. me crop it um, without having to worry about it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So yeah, what I'm slowly doing is I'm slowly building a library of prints um, via um, Skipper Wing Draws a Thing. Well, that makes sense, though. Well, it, it does, but it also it doesn't either. Um, because oh? um, I, w I didn't really plan on making... Um, um, when I started Skipper Wing Draws a Thing, I didn't plan on making prints. Mostly because the last time I made prints out of, uh, out of Skipper Wing, out of like, just things, just to make prints out of them, I mm -hmm. ended up not liking them. Skip draw, right. Goku versus Vegeta. So yeah, like, like, and there's a few others that I'm thinking of turning into prints. Um, work files, illustration. So this is from yesterday. Just Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Once it loads. Once it loads. So, um, Quirky writes, I'd buy this print. Yay! So Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Um. That one's really cool. I'm thinking about the, wait, where is it? Wait, how come? Oh, cause I copied it to the, to to my Seagate. Um, art, sketch, skip draws a thing. Goku versus Vegeta, work files, illustration. Hopefully that didn't corrupt or anything. Hopefully that did not. Oh boy. Uh, let's do fit in window. So Goku versus Vegeta, even though Dragon Ball Super is a garbage fire, it's a very pretty garbage fire. I was gonna say it ended the other day. Oh, that ending was a was a mess. Or rather that ending <laughs> was a cop out. Lol. Um it's like you and you and Hubby can discuss that. Gave Rice wait, you did a Goku versus Vegeta? Oh yeah. It's like this is the moment that changed shown in anime forever. Um, Miss America Chavez, which apparently my dad likes this one specifically because it's in color. Because uh, he watches Skipper Wing Draws, I think, too. Nice. We we know which one Gabe's likes the most. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then let me see. There's uh, and then there's a few other ones where I'm going to I'm going to both have them as prints and as stickers too. Cause that's the cool. Well, because that's the cool thing about how I work is that um, I can do the print. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So Mario and Luigi, which um, Dandy says I should turn into a print. Um, but the cool thing about Mario and Luigi is that. Um, well, actually, I need to put them in into symbols because that's a, a stupid mistake I didn't make. I made. But let me actually open the uh, open the flash file. Or open the the thumbnail. Um, oops. Cancel. 
Mario Cooper Files, Time Lapse, YouTube Thumbnail. 34, 47, yeah. So you notice how like Mario and Luigi are not in the same position as they were on in the illustration. What I can do is now I can grab Mario and he's his, his own separate thing. I can turn into a sticker and Luigi's his own separate thing that I can turn into a sticker. And then same thing with um, uh, Nintendo hats, work files, time lapse. Oops. So this Oh, where is it? Uh, time lapse, YouTube thumbnails, 46. <laughs> so Mario is his own thing, and so is Toon Link. So I'm thinking of, that some of these are going to be stickers, some of them are going to be buttons, some of them are going to be both. Okay. And I'm going to try and use that to... to um, to do smaller shows, like um, local and, and one day shows. So that yeah. way I don't have to, um, cause like I was breaking the bank on doing, uh, on doing um, big conventions and trying to sell books. But right. if I have a library of prints that people just want, then I feel like that's a lot cheaper than buy my book, buy my book, please buy my book where I don't, I can't afford to do this anymore. <laughs> no, I hear ya. But, um, no, we were actually discussing the other day, like, after you left, like, we're just so happy you decided to do the smaller circuit cons, because then we could see you more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now I just have to, I have to get together my library of, uh, of things that I've, uh, illustrations I've done this year, figure out which ones I want to make prints out of, um, re-figure right. out what my table needs to look like. Um, I mean, you, I know you probably shouldn't put it up to vote, because everybody would be like, yes to everything, but at the same time, like, it'd be cool to, like, just put it up and be like, hey... Well, to be fair, I've got like, like, uh, uh, well, there's a skip committee of people that I, I go to specifically for advice on these things. So I'll probably be hitting you up. I'll probably be hitting up uh, Drastic. I'll probably be hitting up Dandy. Basically people who table regularly rather than just like, hey, everybody, check out the thing. Right. But on that note, that's going to be it for tonight's stream. Um, All right. I'll, uh, say, I'll pop out and go to my server. Oh, oh, oh hold on, because we're going to go to your server anyway. Because I'm gonna host you. Oh, I am wait I'm waiting for you. That's all. So anywho. I'm just like, no. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna call it a night, everybody. Um, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for um. Uh, Mumu wants to know if I'm ever used an emulator. Uh, <laughs> this is a late time to be asking that, but yes, I did. I don't anymore. Um, I'll ask me again in the next stream, uh, Mumu, and I'll go into some more details about that. But um, yeah, that's it for tonight's stream, everybody. Um, I would like to thank Bit Weary. Um, Mumu the, uh, the, the Troller X, uh, who else is, um, so I'd like to thank Best Evar, Big Weary, Flargo, Gabe's Cheshire, Jiggy Art, Mumu the Troller 1997, and Zanshu for hanging out. I'd like to thank the Pun Police, um, Quirky Cadet and Whimsicai Arts for modding and DJing. Yeah, you guys are going to be the DJ Pun Police. That's what we're going to call you guys. <laughs> DJ Pun Police. DJ Pun, having fun, making art, and we won. Sorry. Yeah, okay, pun police, get her. <laughs> um, next stream is going to be uh, Wednesday, uh, March 28th from 7 p.m. to whenever p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what I'll be drawing, but hopefully we'll be comics for a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for tonight's stream. Thank you guys for coming out, and I'll see you on the next skip stream. But um, don't go away, because we're going to be, um, we're going to be going to go hang out and, um, in, uh, in uh, Jiggy stream. It's not going to be a raid because I don't know if the raid command works without breaking my uh, my stream. Also, she knows that we're going to be going it there anyway, so it's not really much of a surprise. So Yeah, it's all good. Don't worry about it. All right. Night, nice, Skipperlings. See you hey. later. <laughs> Did somebody just pop in at the last minute? Gabe. No. Dang it, Gabe! Hey! <laughs> oh, let me send Gabe a, a thing invite just in case he wants to come over. No, I didn't want to edit channel, you dip. God, I hate when I miss it all the time. All right, and we are raiding Jiggy. Raiding Jiggy. Peace. Well, Beth sent me the um 